all employees work in departments, therefore departments is related to all employees. However, salaried employees are the only employees that receive benefits. Each employee may receive many benefits and each benefit may be assigned by many to many employees. Therefore, we need to create a many-to-many -many relationship. First of all, let's add our benefits table to our page by dragging an entity shape onto the page. Then we will name this table benefits and create columns benefit ID as our primary key and benefit name. Next we can create our relationship by dragging our relationship connector onto the page. The only relationships allowed in Visio are one-to-many or one-to-one -one relationships. To create a many-to-many -many relationship, we must change the line style. So we would select our line connector and then right-click on the line and go to Format and then select Style. We will change the line style to No Style and click OK. Now we have a simple straight line. Next we need to change the end and the beginning of our line. So we will once again right click the line and then select Format and Line. Now we can select our line ends. The beginning line end you would select as the proper mini side and then our in line will also have a proper mini side. You can also change the size of your line by selecting be beginning size extra large and end size extra large. Then click OK. Now we can say that each benefit can be assigned to zero or many employees and each employee will have zero will have one or many benefits. This may be the case if all employees automatically get insurance benefits. This is how we would create a many to many relationship between salaried employees and benefits. This relationship demonstrates that only salaried employees receive benefits. Hourly employees do not receive benefits. To create a one-to-one -one relationship, we would simply select our relationship line and select the miscellaneous categories. Under the cardinality area, we could then select 0 or 1 or exactly 1 to represent our one-to-one -one relationship. The 0 or more and 1 or more cardinality represents one-to-many relationships. Now, this is our example of an entity relationship diagram consisting of a supertype, subtypes, a one-to-many relationship, and a many-to-many -many relationship. If we would like to insert a page into this Visio file, we could right-click on the Page tab and then select Insert Page. We could then give the page a new name and click OK. This new page is inserted at the end of our pages. We can then use this new page to create another relationship diagram.